Well, these elections are important for two reasons. First, for many months, there was speculation that these elections might not take place or be delayed uh, because of uh, the government's apparent tension uh, with the country's powerful uh, security establishment and the judiciary. But since these elections are taking place, so in that sense, that is uh, very significant. Secondly, these elections will determine that who will take control the upper house of parliament. Given the current uh, position and the number gained, uh, the ruling Pakistan Muslim League, Nawaz, is expected to gain significantly while the opposition Pakistan People's Party is going to lose. So in that sense, uh, for uh, the ruling party's perspective, even, for example, if they are going to lose uh, the next parliamentary elections that are due in, four, uh, uh, in few months' time, they will continue to have significant role uh, of the legislative business uh, when it comes to uh, the uh, uh, parliament, and especially if they have uh, a majority in the Senate. So in that sense, these elections are very significant, particularly for the ruling Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz. And uh, as we mentioned, candidates from Nawaz Sharif's ruling party have been barred from contesting the polls on a party platform. Why was this the case and how might this affect the final outcome? And this is happening for the first time uh, in the history of Pakistan that uh, any political party, especially uh, the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz candidates, are not allowed to contest elections on their party platform and they are contesting elections as an independent candidate. The reason for this that recently the country's Supreme Court ruled that uh, the former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, who was disqualified in July last year over corruption allegations, cannot uh, be the head of his own political party. And all his decisions, including the nomination of candidates uh, for the Senate elections, were declared illegal. However, in order to avoid uh, political controversy and unrest, the Election Commission, however, allowed PMLN candidates to contest elections as an independent candidate. So theoretically, PMLN is not contesting the Senate elections, but in reality, their candidates are still in the race. So once they uh, won the elections, they are expected to join uh, the ruling Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz. So in reality, this will not have a huge uh, significance uh, when it comes to the final outcome of these elections.